Oh, good thing that was an easy fix, otherwise that might have taken a while. Better troubleshoot for half an hour to get it fixed. Right? And tragically, now I'm going to have to turn this off. Mm. It will be missed. Woefully and dearly. Namely by me. Ugh. Ow. The good news is I was actually wise enough to keep the uh, the TV off like, until right before we started. That's it's, good. It's what generates the most heat in here, probably. Mm. Based on at least like putting my hand on the back of it after playing new Pokemon Snap for like an hour. How old is your TV? Oh, I don't know. I got it for my folks. Brandon said he's got another one that I need to, to get. Probably. Yeah. Just about damn near ancient. Oh, yeah. It weighs right. a ton anyway. So, Spirit Temple, we already did the kid part, question mark? No, we did no, not. No, we did not. Part. Okay. We only went to the kid part to get the, uh, the magic bean plant. Yes, yes. And then we spun around and around and around. So, for the three people, if there's not a clue that it's not played this game before, the way the Spirit Temple works, and this is more of a fresher view than anything, is... If you try to go there as an adult, the game basically tells you, like, hey, you need to have uh, silver gauntlets to progress through this. And then a different sign will tell you, yeah, you need to get the silver gauntlets as a kid. And so you go there as an adult and get the song to warp there so you can actually warp there as a kid. Because otherwise, as a kid, you can't make it through the desert. Also, what's up, Baron Kelly? Namely, namely because you can't get past the river of sand because you can't hook shot across it because you can't use the hook shot. Because there's a there's a couple ways to get across the river sand. The other one is the hover boots, but this also is the Tanaka Empire. You can't use the hover boots, kids. And you can't it's use the iron yeah. boots. Oh no. Oh no. Also, the more of ice. Thank you for the 27 months subscribe to Twitch Prime. I guess they're letting me do this again. Apparently, yeah. Oh, the um, orange one. The orange one. one. A yep. down this is kind of a right down. This is kind of another hint, too, that the Spirit Temple is supposed to be before the Shadow one, because it's before the Shadow song in that list as well. I just feel like those last three notes should be faster. Maybe. But this is... Maybe it's because it's only six notes. That might be part that of the too. reason, too. That, too. I also, I, I also like this song. A lot. Yeah, Requiem is one of my favorite warp songs. Okay. Um... Deeper, deeper, deeper. Wow. Yeah, they like to do that. I'm not faster than them as a small child. Ouch. Alright. This is another good song, by the way. Gerudo Valley job. kicks some serious ass. I don't care what anyone says. I forgot about that. I mean, it hit you and then gave you a heart, so... It's funny, because a lot of the, the evil pots, I can't remember what the names of them are, but they do that. They'll, like, hit you for a quarter of heart of damage, <laughs> and then you'll get a heart from the pot, and it's like, okay, that was still a net gain. Surprise! Like, unless you were at a quarter of a heart of health, they can't do anything to you, really, to kill you. Oh, hi. Start I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? See the temple, looking for the sages. Nothing really. Uh, one of these is the right answer, the other ones will just like boot you out and you have to ask her again. Um, of course, they want you the uh, to get the uh, you have nothing to do. The pots of hearts are trying to help you violently. Oh, so they're like running with the bomb on and double dash going, I'm helping! Yeah. <laughs> or with the Bowser shell, I'm helping! <laughs> I'm helping myself, but I am in fact helping. You wouldn't happen to be one of Gandalf's followers, would you? Doesn't matter what you say here. <laughs> I actually like her answer if you say I hate Gandalf. She's like, I like you, you got guts! <laughs> So this is Nibiru, this is the second-in-command 
behind Ganondorf uh, himself is the woman you met that gave you the access card was the third in command. Mm -hmm. She said Nomura was out here. Mm -hmm. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. Yeah, no dictator's ever done that before. Except, did you know, like, even, all of them. Did he even steal cakes? Forty of them? Probably. Because that's as much as four tens, and that's terrible. That is pretty terrible. That's more terrible than killing somebody. Absolutely. <laughs> Our law say that the Lone Male Gerudo must become king of the Gerudo. I'll never bow to such an evil man. Wait, also, don't so... ask how the whole, like, only having a man in the entire community for every 100 years works, because that's never explained. Okay, because if he dies at, like, 30, then there's 70 years where, you know, unless you're going outside of your community, ain't no one getting born. <laughs> unless they, yeah, like, fair. just reproduce asexually. Through the power of willing a child into existence. Or lesbians. I mean, we've still never figured out who Mrs. Bowser is, so. Yeah. Even though the Koopalings aren't uh, Bowser's biological kids. Wait, so she is required to be second in command to him. She's not loyal to him, though. Correct. That's good to it, know. Yeah, it's basically like the tradition of... And plus, also, it is definitely a society of, like, if you're in power, you're going to have, you know, plenty of food, plenty of riches, plenty of stuff like that. But if you're against them, they're all just going to leave you and, like, you know, leave you to die. And Grudas aren't hated in this timeline prior to Ganondorf, you know, taking over uh, Hyrule. But, you know, they're still probably not going to be uh, treated very well. Yes, steal the treasure. Somehow I feel like she doesn't succeed in this timeline. You can successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. So yeah, uh, silver gauntlets won't fit a kid, so like that's why she's like, yeah, there's no point in even trying to take it. Also, uh, I would hit start really quickly and uh, switch to your Highland shield. There are a bunch of fire bats in this room, and if they touch you, even if you don't have your shield out, it will burn and get destroyed. I Every time I have ever forgotten to take that shield off, I have lost it in this room. It's not like horrible, but just that, like the minute you go up these stairs, there will be at least one fire bat that's on you. Okay, enjoy. Hmm. I'm trying to have a thought. Hang on. I'm trying to remember how to be Kid Link. <laughs> it's been a hot second. In my yeah, defense. the last time you had to do that was uh, Bob of the Well. Just stand there and take that fire damage. Yeah, there you I go. Got that. Congrats, you found the way forward. You're also going to need a key. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't go back to break those boxes because it would have just been too simple to already pull on. That didn't count against you, I just double checked by watching the video back. You didn't actually take damage while you were in the cutscene, thankfully. Yep, it's the old classic kill all enemies to progress around. Oh. That is an Armos knight that you can attack, by the way, that knight statue in the center. It's not a push-pull statue, it's an enemy. I prefer to just run up to it with the bomb and then hit R and just drop it right at its feet, so I activate it and just immediately jump into the bomb and run. Also, that's true, they could kidnap Hyrulean's breed, I'm not sure. That's a distressing thought. Uh, thanks for that. It, it, yeah, he killed the uh, bat. <laughs> Alright, so you go left or right? Right it is. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um... Okay, uh... I will warn you, uh, 
I believe you chose poorly. I do not think there's a way to get past that fence. Because killing all enemies will do nothing. And lighting the torches will drop a chest, but it'll be behind that fence. So I believe you have to go left here. I honestly don't remember because I always just go left by default, but when I went left in my practice run, it was the right direction. So. Ah. Because there's another spot in the adult section of this temple, because, spoiler alert, there's an adult section in this temple, too. No surprise there. Oh, hey. There you go. But on that one, you have to go to the right. You know what? Is there a way where I can just not have to fight him? Or... Technically, yes. If you can hit that crystal switch behind the gate with the boomerang without fighting him, you can just completely skip him and the, the giant floating skull as well. That was what I actually did running through here. I just completely ignored him. Hello? This is also the downside because you're used to a sword that does four times the damage that this one does. Or even with the master sword, at least two times the damage. He's green and on fire, I can't. Yeah, he's invincible when he's on fire. When he's not green, he's not invincible. Alternatively, you can just ignore this guy because he's not going to come at you. Like, I literally just walked right through him on my run through the temple. Though, to be fair, when I was playing, I took a lot of unnecessary damage where I was just like, nope, gonna skip that puzzle, don't care. <laughs> I probably lost about 10 hearts doing that. I'm pretty sure this is how you should the switch. I could be wrong. I honest to god could be wrong, but this is always the way I've done it, is I've thrown the boom right the switch. Oh, just gonna go now. Okay. Oh, wait, come back. Come back. Uh, I'm pretty sure it went to the ravine. Yep. There was one. Oh well. Into the river. That was sacrificed to the ether. Get a blue bee! Yay! Yeah, there's a bunch of crap chests in this dungeon, same as it was in the Shadow Temple. Spectacular. Ah, uh, yes, this room. That is a new enemy, it is an Anubis. They want you to do a really complicated puzzle. I'm just gonna give you the easy answer. Walk slightly towards it and use this fire. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I think you're. As long as you don't walk forward right now, I don't think he can get you. I don't think it'll go far enough. Oh, that did go far enough. Oh, because he shot a fireball. I thought it was more like a flamethrower attack. That was my mistake. So what they want you to do is that crystal you just saw in the cutscene there. If you hit that... Oh, you can get a little bit closer to him. If you hit that switch, it makes a fireball show up. And Anubis moves relative to you, so you have to, like, keep him around in the room to hit that wall of fire. Or you could literally just run up to him and use dense fire, kill him on one hit, and skip the puzzle entirely. That works. It's way easier. Really? There's nothing in any of these pots. Nope. And they do that sometimes in this temple where they try to trick you with that. Cool idea for an enemy, but like really broken when you just have a strategy of, hey, I can just ignore it. Or just hit it with a wire move. Is this another freaking 
Yeah, there's a wall master in here. You probably will want to actually kill this one because he will get in the way otherwise. Oh god. Okay, I thought I was safe there. Nope. I was not. I was wrong. Can I get him? No. Jump back Damn up. Damn it! You got a, a keys, I think, though. Something I killed off screen. I know he can't get you while you're on that, though. He can't get you while you're climbing something. Which is oh, good, because that would kind of be bullshit if he could. That would. Look at these three jackasses here. Yeah, it was the Skulltula. Which is weird because the Skulltula actually can get you through the wall there. Alright, so now you've opened the gate down. Can I get that though? No, but you don't need it anymore. Remember, you already have 50. Oh. Do I? Yeah, we got it last episode. That's why you have 19 oh, hearts. Yeah. Because there's no more piece of the heart left in the game. Okay. So, now we must kill the wall master. Well, you actually don't need to now. You can, uh... Oh, I can just go? Yeah, if you just need to light those torches, which dense fire will go fine. Excuse me. <laughs> don't push me. It's very rude of you. Alright, so now it spawns the chest across. Look at that. Yeah, she had to collect all the gems push. to open the gate, and so you couldn't have done that from the other side, so you did have to go up. Okay, first one. That floor is still here. Wall master. I'm aware. I keep getting it wrong because the model is exactly the same as the, the floor and the wall master have the same model. It's just how they act. Okay. There we go. Key. All right. That was a lot for a key, man. Yeah, it was. I would, but that wasn't me texting you. Oh, no, I meant myself climbing the wall. I'm also going to turn my phone on to silent. My apologies. <laughs> Do you take requests? Yeah, please stop. <laughs> That's like my favorite line from The Office. It's so good. That is the best line. Also, Andy is like a genuinely underappreciated character. I actually like him a lot. Oh, okay. Now you can get those. One has bombs, I believe the left one has bombs, the right one has. Nope, other way around. Now one has deck hands. I can't. Okay. Ah. Trying to sling. Yep, slingshot seats. You got some waltulas. I mean, you could also use the boomerang. Boomerang works fine, really, it's just personal preference.
He's adapting. You know what? I've never used my shield while fighting on Salvos in this game. Like my hack was because I was being lazy or I was on a small platform or one of the two. But the other thing you can do is you can get a bomb and if you throw it with good timing, or if you leave the skull to there, you can just hit the skull to and by proxy it will blow up the uh, crack in the wall as well. So just that one right there? Yeah. You already have the bomb shoot, so if you want to use the bomb shoot, you can. But again, this is just proving my point of the bomb shoot not required in this game until literally Ganon's tower. I did it. Yep. Uh, the map is in this room if you want it. If you want to get it as an adult, you can get it as an adult, or if you want to pass on it, you can pass on it. If I come across it, then I'll grab it. I'm pretty sure it's just like a light the two torches in the room and it'll, it'll show up. That is a Scarecrow song thing. All it leads you to is a gold skull chill, so you don't need that. Uh, gross. That is another downside to playing Master Quest, is if I remember correctly, uh, the Scarecrow song is actually required for some of the dungeons. I'm pretty sure it was required for Forest, but honestly it's been so long I don't remember. There's nothing in any of these pots Okay. Not that hard. Apparently it's only the evil pots. Yep. The ones that sell their soul to the devil. take a moment to accept that I actually did that, because I am so impressed with myself. <laughs> One. Two. Three. There's a song in Mario Party 4 for one of the boards, uh, uh, Koopa Seaside Soiree, that every time I hear the beat to that, it sounds exactly like that song. 
Because it's like a tropical music and it goes like da 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 And so every time I hear that, I just think of that song. <laughs> the actual version of the song, not the Psycho Stick version. That's the only version that I know. <laughs> that is that is my life. Oh, you didn't ever hear Bodies? That's the actual name of the song, is Bodies. No, I've I've heard it, but that I, I like no, I can only count the four versions <laughs> so much more. Like, uh, remember when I talked about Paralyzer by Finger Eleven? Whenever uh, YouTube would, uh, they would give you alternate songs that you could use uh, royalty free to cover up any like actual songs you put in the video, and how Paralyzer was like one of the ones that everybody used. Mm -hmm. Bodies was the other one that everybody used. Oh my God, that's Ooh. awesome! That makes the torch. puzzle so well, and then I can't open a chest. Yeah, apparently that's going to be your uh, struggle for the day, is opening things. <sighs> so it is, in fact, a key. Now we can move on. It's childproof. <laughs> that explains the issue, up yep. until we do the adult section. So yeah, if anybody cared, you're playing along, there's a gold skull on the wall behind you when you enter this room. He's just chilling out on the, the back there. But now it's time for a mini-box! Ladies and gentlemen, everyone's favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hits hard. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that swing does four hearts. Oh, of damage. Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. So he. I swear hits. to God, Navi, if you're about to tell me not to get hit by him, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> uh, that's not what I want. What do well, I want? That could be what you want. What do I want? W would that do more damage than my sword? Yes, it would. Okay. The Deku Stick is the strongest the Master Sword. It will break after it hits somebody, but like you can just use them up like a consumable. I also have 30! Oh my god! Nope, that was well, wrong. Well, you hit the that other was... two buttons on I the hit C -stick. literally everything except the one that I want. Oh yeah, because you went the fourth position, so you did literally hit every single one except the one you needed. Yep. Oh, okay. So, for me, usually the easiest way to deal with this guy is to L target him and let him get close to you, and then right when he starts to swing, just back up very slightly, and then once he's done swinging, he has that little pause like that, so you can just hit him there. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Oh god, run! 
There is one other alternate way to make the fight insanely easy, but you actually can't do it right now. And that is using Nehru's blood to protect you from damage. Nope, it's not Oh god. If you have, uh, if oh, you've no. got double magic, if you've got half of your double magic meter full, then you can use Nehru's blood. You will still get knocked back by the axe, but you will not take the damage from the axe. Yeah, you're still a little more. God. Go. Turn around and go. Life is worth living, Link. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll just hide into this guy's, uh... Don't think too hard about it. Interesting, you didn't get stunned by that first hit, but you still took the damage from it, which is why you lost 8 hearts instead of 4. Alright, so now you've taken his armor off, so you can't get stunned, so this will pretty much just go out. out. He will move faster, but, like, as long as you just keep hitting him, it's really what you can do. The first bit the face is a lot harder because he doesn't take any knockback damage. So when you hit him, he just, like, goes through it anyway. Okay. Is that it? Is he done? Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> That actually wasn't that bad, I think, considered. That's true, you can also use the overhead swing as an opening, too, where he, like, swings down like that, because he'll get his axe mm. stuck. Mm. Also, the owl's back. I know you missed him. You might as well enjoy it while it lasts, because this is the last time in the game that he appears. Oh, no. Also, I'd like to give props to my favorite Zelda game, Majora's Mask, for making this guy appear exactly three times in the game and no more. Turn their own magic power against them. We're not doing the Ganondorf thing again, right? No. Well, not exactly. Even if we were, the boss room for the Spirit Temple is way larger than the Phantom Ganon Arena. Thank God. It might be the largest arena of the bosses outside of maybe the Shadow Temple. Yeah, now I think that it probably is. You got the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But they won't fit a kid, and you already promised them in the room. Sure. sure. Keep your word. Luckily, there's a cutscene so that you don't have to keep your word. <laughs> bum, bum, ba Yes, Link, she's up in the air. That makes sense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Rip. That effect does not age well. Absolutely not. These witches, they're using black magic on me. That's racist. That's clearly purple. Also, yes, it's clearly purple. <laughs> He's like, ah. Oh my god, you're gonna do dude. something stupid. Yeah, you can jump off that if you want. YOLO! No damage. <laughs> yep, so that is the kid section done. You've got the silver gauntlets, so you can come back as an adult and do the rest of the temple. Or if you're doing the Master Quest version, you could start as a kid and then become an adult and then become a kid and then become an adult and you'd have to repeat that over and over about seven or eight times. There's a reason Brandon doesn't like this temple in Master Quest. <laughs> He's not a fan and he will go off about it. This is nauseating, honestly. It will make you learn the prelude of light, that's for sure, because you have to keep warping back to the Temple of Time to switch between a kid and an adult. I don't think it's the worst temple in Master Quest. Like, more obnoxious than bad, but it, I mean, that's still pretty annoying. The one I remember having the most trouble with was the fire temple, for sure. Because there was a lot more, like, the firewalls, if you remember having to do, like, mazes like that, and you'd have to, like, find hookshot targets and hookshot through the firewalls. Ew. It was really bad.
Also, you can now see the uh, silver gauntlets on your character. Nice. That is, the, that is the first strength upgrade that you've gotten since getting the Goron bracelet as a kid. Kid. Strong kid up. It is a very big, yeah, but yeah, and uh, doing a randomizer, now you can see why getting the strength upgrades are so important, because stuff that's late game, like doing the Spirit Temple or Ganon's Tower, you can at least the Silver Gauntlets. And the problem is, uh, a lot of stuff you can't move, you don't have to go on bracelets, so if you can't find any of the strength upgrades, it's even worse. Oh. Alright. Give me that heart. Give it. Good, you actually needed that. Good, it's like you back to it. I will say that is one upside to come back as an adult, at least in the main room, all this stuff is gonna respawn because you left the temple. Because you had to. Uh... I move that effortlessly thing. now. Twitch only just notified me of your stream. Nice! That's why we have Discord, to be able to communicate it more effectively. Uh, let's see if you can figure out the uh, solution to this puzzle. A couple different things you can use to solve this one. Bombs. <laughs> Yeah, this is a big one, so you just have to hit it twice. That's the only difference. It's hard to tell it's bigger because you were just a kid, and so they looked about the same height because length was shorter. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of crystals in the Master Quest in this way on this one, by the way. A lot of them were hidden like in little alcoves in the ceiling. I love that. Hey. Oh no, it's one singular Wolfos. Let's completely ignore him. It'll always oh be God. it'll always be Zelda's Olivia if it's a Triforce. I know. Nope. Nope. Son of a gun! <laughs> Where's my issue? It's like one of the two songs I had down. Yep. Questioning my whole life. And then you slept down. since then, probably due to Zelda's lullaby. Did I really sleep? Probably not. There we go. God, I felt like I didn't get enough sleep thanks to that fucking shift that I had to leave at 8 o'clock in the morning. I know for sure I didn't get enough sleep. Because I had breakfast this morning and, uh,. Let's put it this way, by the time that you got to work this morning, or you would have gotten to work had it not been a Sunday, I would have still been at work. Yeah. That hurts. By the time that you got off of work, I had already finished breakfast with Steven and took a nap. Yeah. Like... And then it took me another half hour to actually drive back home. Literally the only upside was the fact that it was Sunday and not like a weekday, because then I would have probably had to deal with at least a little bit of the 8 o'clock traffic, too. Do you actually need to fight him? No, no, me Later, Gator. This room only had the uh, compass in it. Oh, really? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> okay. I think you need the hover boots to get that one. I tried to jump attack to it and didn't quite make it. I think you can if you time it really well, but the hover boots are just easier. <laughs> Definitely not those, though. Absolutely those. And... You just, like, run at it, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Missed. If that had knocked you that would have been kind of amazing, actually. Oh. That camera angle, though. I wonder how long these have been just hanging around, rolling back and forth forever. Oh, that's that is. Spectacular. That's not how 
trying to get through that block. That's a song of time. Ouch. things first. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the freaking boots, man. I wonder if somebody's made those into slippers. That would be interesting, question mark? Also fitting, because, you know, slippers. Okay, slippery. uh, so Song of Time is... Friday down, twice. <laughs> you won't need to know that one until Majora's Mask. Then you'll really need to know it. Yeah, like the back of your hand. It's probably not the one you play the most, but like you have to play it to save the game, so. Oh. <laughs> that was all that was. Yeah, this is going to look. Once you get one? that nice. No, I it moved it over there. That was where one of the rubies were. Oh. Well, that was it. How do you, uh, do you like like likes? Ah! Important question. It, it seems you do like like likes. I don't remember what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, you should probably kill that thing first and foremost. Get your, uh, equipment back. Why? How do I get out? Well, if you're gonna just jump into it, maybe then you don't just like, like, likes. Maybe you like, 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 likes. It's like that joke in, uh, oh, what is it? Starbound, where you can get bonbons as an item, and then if you combine enough bonbons together, you can make bonbon bonbons. Oh my god. He looks so handsome and blue. Thank you. It's the wrong side of the fucking chest. Here we go. Alrighty. <laughs> or it's like, dang, you can beat me to it. I have a key. Yeah, I guess that's just uh, yeah. yeah, I remember you had the option to go left, right, or middle, but the middle door was locked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. They mirror, like, the adult and child sections mirror slightly. Where, like, the puzzles are obviously different. Yeah. You have to crawl through. But I kind of like that they're mirrored only slightly. <laughs> Oh, look, another light one. It's gone. It's nice that it dies in one hit with that sword. It, it is really nice, yeah. Like likes are some of the most hated enemies in all of Zelda, because in some games, if they kill you, they'll, like, eat your shield or something, and you actually can't get it back no matter how quickly you kill them. Like, you literally have to go and get another one. Oh, God. Yeah, they're really obnoxious. Ooh, ooh. Oh, crap. <laughs> So excited, you just had to leave the room. Yep. I got too excited. Needed a moment to compose myself. <laughs> You're like a, a cat that one of my, uh, one of the people at my church had, that whenever it had to poop, it would start running around the house, because it was really excited that it had to poop. Cats are weird. Cats are weird. Oh, hey, there's an enemy there. There is? You can wiggle around. Ow. And he wants your butt. You've fought this enemy before. Invisible, mind you. You can also use the lens of truth to find out what it is. Oh. Or use Nobby, and she'll tell you what it is. At least you haven't met the like likes by the same game, but this is love love. It was Monami from Dog and Robin 2, I should've known. Okay. Yep, it's a floor master. <laughs> it is, but the problem is, because you're using the big Goron sword, which is a two-handed weapon, you cannot fly your shield. That's the one crippling weakness of the big Goron sword. Look at him wiggling around! Look at him wiggling around! He's so cute. 
shot across to the other hand because he drops a chest over there. Unfortunately, because the room's so fucking dark, it's really hard to see the chest. But it is on that hand, I assure you. You can even see it on the map where the chest icon is. I 
it's a little bit harder to see on the screen because the TV brightness is turned up. So you can, I can like barely make it out from there, but I'm wondering if most people watching probably could not see it at all. Which is how it is normally. Yeah. Wunderbar. So back to that one spot? Yep, back to where the locker room was on the left. The locker room is in this room. So. Wait, the one on the left? The locker room's in this room. Like, it's on the, the top. This is a kid who pushed the the statue down to unlock the door, but in this side it's actually like a locked door. Why are you Yeah, see, because you're not holding your sword right now, you can use the shield because you don't have your sword out. Mm -hmm. You just gotta put your sword away. You can also just run past the Beamos. There's nothing in this room. It's just a little oh. hallway. You can literally just ignore him and run for the door. Bye. Now you've got some more enemies, mostly Anubis. Use dense fire or the fire arrows since you're an adult, whatever you prefer. There are a couple of them in here though, I think there's three. Yeah, I see One. Oh man, I have to get a little bit closer to the other two, but yeah, there they are. They actually look kind of cool. You know, off the platform. And last but not least, you're a little female friend over there. You can jump that platform with the switch if you want a little bit more space before throwing. Oh, I thought you got it, because I was supposed to be like, that was a really good throw. Apparently the game didn't think so. Oh no. Nice, good save. Okay. I'm not throwing well. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. There you go, right on target. Perfect. Sorry, would be proud. I need to click on that so oh fuck. You did it. I'm proud of you. That's unfortunate. I love I that the whole time I was like, yeah, she's probably gonna die in this room with one of the enemies. Kills all the enemies and then just jumps off. Yeah, no, you don't need to do that. Remember uh, in the kids section when you step on the switch it makes a little fire geyser appear to kill the Anubis? Oh, is that? The same thing there. Mm. But again, I still would prefer fire arrows slash dense fire. Alright, so I'll go ahead and give you the answer to the puzzle because doing this one's kind of a pain in the butt. The door you're unlocking is the one that's to your right. Uh, and you have to hit that switch, but it's one of those that you have to keep pressure on the switch. So you have to use the statues. The problem is those are all enemy statues, so you have to make them jump on the switch and then run for the door. Which is a giant pain in the butt. So usually the best way is to target one of those dudes that are away from you. Yeah. You should probably kill those two. Alright, that works too. Oh, that well. also works. Okay, so interestingly enough, and I always forget about this before you go in that door, there's actually two invisible chests here. You can see them on the map. They don't have anything useful, but they are there. That was what you were walking into a second ago. I'm pretty sure they're just like recovery hearts or restocks or something. But... Appreciate it. However, if you're playing a randomizer and don't know that those chests are there, then you might end up screwing yourself over. I know somebody that didn't check those chests. It turns out the bow and arrow was in one of them. Oh my god. Yeah, so they had to come back later and uh, realize the error of their ways. Round two. Except this time you've got a much stronger sword. Meaning it will probably go by a lot faster. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. For anybody asking in the comments, no, we're not going to make her play.
play Dark Souls. I don't think anybody wants to see me. <laughs> well, Dark Souls is a, a game where you mostly need to rely on evasion and like being able to dodge things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also drop hearts anyway. So. Unless you're a full, then will drop rubies, I think. Yeah, a lot easier with a better sword. Much easier. Also, very fun and very hard runs because it means if he hits you, you die. Yeah. Thanks. I believe that falls there so that you, like, it's not just there automatically so you can't, go, like, go through the adult set or the kid section as adult and get shot to it. But now you got the mirror shield! The shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Nice. It's actually pretty cool. I like how it looks, for one. Yo, if somebody for my birthday ever wants to uh, get me, like, an actual real shield that's the mirror shield, then, uh, please do. And then we have to wear the red thing. I mean, it looks pretty good with blue and red, actually. Like, when you see it from the back, it still looks pretty good. I think the one that doesn't work with is green, actually. It's a little too Christmasy, but it's alright. like that. It's not perfect, but it looks better than it does in green. Yeah. It's got, it's, it's more like blue with red highlights. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly I think okay. it also helps that the gauntlets are pretty close to the same color. Yes. So now you have the mirror shield, you can go back into that room that you were just in, because there's a puzzle you couldn't do without it. Oh. So yeah, don't you don't, you don't need to hook shot across to that, no. Okay. In fact, that will cause you to basically redo most of that dungeon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's not there, don't worry. It's just the, the pillars and whatnot respawn, he's not there. Yeah, it's not in this room either. I oh, forgot that this is still technically a room. I didn't count the mini boss room. Or this, technically. I don't count There are several rooms back. I'm not counting a dinky little hallway as a room, sorry. This is the room you need to uh, get the other door unlocked. Mm, this controls well. I think it's bad now. Imagine me playing it for the first time with a broken R button. Oh, no. Yeah. I actually couldn't complete the dungeon because of that puzzle. Couldn't get the R button to hold still long enough. But now you got a key! Heck yeah. Which I think is the penultimate one. Because obviously the, the boss key is still in here somewhere. Alright, now you can head back to the previous room. <laughs> oh. Start by killing the Demos. Try to will not reflect the uh, Demos. It will block. It will block them fine. I'm pretty sure, unless it starts like by hitting you in your ankles. Yeah, the whole reflecting energy thing, unfortunately, only gets used once, which is kind of a bummer that they don't do that. The big thing is being able to reflect light off. It's kind of one of the downsides of getting the mirror shield so late. I kind of wish that they had made that a thing that was useful, but it's just not. So, uh, go ahead and hit up on the C sticks so you get an idea of what level you're supposed to be doing here. So it's basically a going through how do you get up? moving things. Or alternatively, you could pull out your hook shot and just skip the entire say. thing. I was about to say. I'm because why on God's certain. green earth would somebody say, I want to do that puzzle? I like making my life harder. Suckers! Gotta feel bad for whoever designed that. Right? I don't know anybody like, that I'm hasn't so just hook shot a task. Because I feel like that would be a really annoying puzzle to go through. I'm just gonna go. Ouch. Ouch. Do I need to go this way first? 
Hey. <laughs> also, no, you wanted to go that way first. The other way? Yeah. That's the room with the boss key in it. The one with the triforce symbol on the ground. Semi-transparent, but it doesn't even have ice physics on the block. I feel like that's not far enough. You are correct. So that is not the way. That is a step in completing the puzzle, however, it is not the first step. Yeah, back from the fire temple. Though it doesn't have that ice feel to it when you walk forward on it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why they made it look like that specifically, but yeah, it's not ice. It does look like ice though. Because and maybe it's glass. It could be glass. Because sand plus fire equals glass, right? But you have you don't ever see a, a platform like that before this. There's a couple of them in Ganon's Tower, too, but like you would have to do that after this, so this would be the first time you'd see it. Oh my really god. Weird. Sorry, I just realized that as of today, I've not taken a science class in eight years. Nice. Okay. Now we go this way? Yep. to this room somehow before you can do that. 
not gonna blow up the ceiling. Uh, no. <laughs> that would be cool, but no. Kick that football right into the moon. Sunlight specifically? Or? Yes, sunlight. You're thinking about how to hit that switch way too hard. <laughs> Yeah. I can't shoot it through the bars, but I can hit it with my sword through the fine. Remember when in the water um, temple though when you had to do that by using the spin attack? It's the same idea there. Oh okay. <laughs> Fun fact, there's a sword of Majora's Mask that can kill those guys in one hit. Oh my god. Yeah. It's really good, but unfortunately it's a C button item, so it's really awkward to use. Also, don't worry if you can't reach that, because it's just like a drop. It's a chest drop. It's got like a bundle of arrows or something. I've also seen people miss that chest in randomizers and also pay the price for it. Oh, bombs. Okay. Thank god. I'm trying to remember what the person missed. I think it was the... It seems to always be the slingshot or the bow and arrow, but I'm pretty sure it was the slingshot again. Yeah. That's that skull thing. Get out of here. It's weird, because it's the only time you ever really see them act like that, where they just spin around with no fire on them or anything. Annoying. I guess. I'll take that over them being invincible for a set amount of time. Or having to, like, run into them with a the shield or something. You've had it in the right place a few times, but you've gone past it a couple times. face off of this snake lady thing. This one you actually have to hold it there. It's not too bad though. It's not like an, a very, very long period of time. The one I was thinking of in Majora's Map was way longer than that. And last but not least, I'll go ahead and give you the answer to this because it took me a while to figure out. You can hook shot onto that steel drain that's back there. I think that's what you're I don't know any other way to get there, so that's what I usually do. And that's dungeon. Okay. Again, a lot shorter than like water or fire temple. Yeah. Uh, Shadow that temple was... short, but still pretty short. It's a little over an hour. Yep. Ho ho ho, hee hee hee. Oh, so I gotta use my shield for this. That's my best quality. I know in the block thing. Oh. <laughs> 
Let's say your best quality is not you, but an object you have. Wow, that's a lot. But first, it's time for a mini boss fight. Of course. It's literally the same mini boss fight you've already done two times. Of course. Except I guess this one wears silver, not gold. twist in the history of the world, but for video games in the 90s, that's actually a pretty good symbolism. Yeah. That and the symbolism of, of course, you know, being forced to work under a man as a woman, despite the fact that it's mostly a woman drive. Well, and it also, it also kind of makes sense that she was, because that's the other thing, too. Everyone else in this tribe has been functioning under the assumption that they're loyal to Ganondorf. And so the fact that she was under the brainwashing the whole time kind of makes sense because if she wasn't under the brainwashing, she'd be a loyal servant. Yeah. And she wouldn't be helping Link. Yeah. That know. wouldn't make sense. So brainwashing is the thing that makes the most sense. Plus well, the idea too of like, yeah, Gandalf's super like crazy powerful, but like how would he have gotten any sense of like having any followers if the second in command's not going to follow him? Like, she could either outright say, I'm not going to follow you, or say, like, yeah, we'll do what you say, and then while he's off trying to conquer parts of the world or whatnot, she's just at home not doing what he says, and actively trying to screw him over without his knowledge. Yes, yeah. And I should leave now, right? Yes. To get more fairies. Well, if you want, you don't have to. Uh, I should. I should. It will go poorly if I do not. Um... Say I don't know if it'll let you warp out of the dungeon. You might actually have to physically oh. leave before you. Well, you could try first. Because I could. Uh, I can't even use my ocarina right oh, now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh can you actually not leave? Oh, I don't like this. Is, is that the door that you entered? Yeah, it is the door that you entered. Uh, uh, well, if you die, it's going to send you back to the entrance of the temple. And then, gonna, then you can do it. Well. I would also recommend uh, switching to your master sword for this fight. Because you're gonna have to use the shield a lot, and by having the big Goron sword out, it actually makes it harder. Pretty much the key is whenever the boss actually gets stunned, then you can just go into your menu and switch onto the big Goron sword, and then whenever they're out of being stunned, then you can just switch it back to the master sword. Is there anything in here other than just. Nope, just the arena. That's it. Like I said, it's a pretty large arena, though, by comparison to the, the rest of them. Uh, by comparison, it's absolutely massive. <laughs> See, this is the size the Phantom Ganon fight should have been. I love that uh, seam right there, just right down the middle of that block. Yeah. <laughs> also, one of those four pillars, whenever the fight actually starts, I'd recommend jumping to one of those. The first part of this fight really sucks, the second part's pretty easy. Okay. Like, if you can get to stage two, you pretty much won, honestly. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. But it might make a nice canister for my drink! Twin Roba. Okay. 
So the idea is pretty much you can just hold down the shield and you'll be okay at the here. Is one of them will fire a beam of either ice or fire, like so. And you have to reflect it on the like that. The problem is it does not control as well as it did just then at all times. So it might be a little bit of Oh god. So there's two ways to like try and angle it. You can either have both of them on the screen at any given time, based on your camera angle, and then target them oh. it's not shooting a bolt of fire or ice. Or you can uh, not help target them and hold it down, then you can move the shield around to actually move the beam physically yourself. Which means you have to aim it, but you also get more control over which direction it goes. Oh, so it, it's honestly kind of dependent on what you think is easier. When I was playing this, I didn't use the L targeting, but it is entirely oh, okay. You will also need to be facing the way that they're firing. It doesn't matter uh, which one you damage. Like, I think they take four hits before going to stage two, but like, if you get all four hits on the one with the ice stuff, it's still going to be So thankfully you don't have to hit one of them twice and the other one twice. It's just as long as you block in a set amount of hits. Yeah. 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 Hi, bud. Also, they don't necessarily alternate, so... Oh, sure. I'm just gonna... I'm not that big right now, but... into one giant Why is she suddenly sexy? I'm so wildly concerned. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I really didn't want that. Oh. So at this point, you pretty much want to keep her L target at all times and hold your shield out. So remember how it can absorb energy? This is the literal only time in the game that you will ever use this ability, which is a real shame because it's a cool idea. Is you have to absorb three of the same spell in a row, whether it's fire or ice. It does not matter which, but it has to be that amount more. So if you use fire, like that, you can oh. And she'll probably shoot more fire since you missed the first ice spell, you'll probably fire again. Oh. 
Yeah, you can keep your distance from her on this one. Like, if the shot locks on, so as long as you're holding and shielding, you'll be able to absorb the shot regardless. Also, it took away your, uh, your ice on your shield since you died. Okay. So you're back to, to standard. Okay. Alright, give me more fire. Yeah, we back up a little bit. Because if she does give you ice, then you can just move out of the way. I very much did. Typically, oh, not, not always, but typically she will throw three fire in a row and then three ice in a row, but sometimes she will change it up. Remember, if it is fire, you don't want to move out of the way, but you want your shield to be yes. And then after you get hit by the third fire, you keep holding the shield on your shoulder. And now jump towards her and I'll go down. Nice, good job. Well. That would be the time if you want to switch the big Goran sword that you can and then switch back to Master Sword, but you don't have to if you don't want to. She has a set amount of damage that she can take each round, and so you can't just like destroy her and run around with the big Goran sword that you can with other bosses. Oh, so if you get hit by the freeze attack period, then you lose all the... Oh, wait, really? Yeah, you're at one right now, so... Damn. easier than phase one. Much easier. And honestly, this is one of the easier boss fights of the game. Yeah. The only part that can cause problem is just the technicality of trying to get the beam to go where you want it to in phase one. Yeah. That can cause a problem, but it's not like, oh, I'm going to die problem. It's just like, oh, I wish this would work right problem. Also, you get this hilarious scene. I will scream my ankle at each other and you'll never be able to hear anything else. You're welcome. We're twins, don't try to lie about your age. You must have gone senile. Here's a butt shot. Oh my god, this is the ultimate timeline, Zack and Weezy. Yeah. to haunt you. That's a lie, they don't come back. Well, they do reappear in Majora's Mask, but not as bosses, oddly enough. So there's the way out, and then the hard container should be behind you. Also, that means you didn't have to worry about going back for fairies. Yeah, honestly, I'm shocked. Because I did use one fairy, but that was it. Yeah, that was it. This is probably... It's either this or Volvagia. For me. Yeah. It's either this or Volvagia. Morpha's not bad if you know the trick to fight here. Uh, Bongo Bongo is hit or miss, honestly. Sometimes I've done, like, no damage runs, and other times I got my ass kicked. And Phantom Ganon is just problematic on a technical level. In terms of, like, oh, what you have to do, yeah. mm -hmm. not hard. I agree. 
I think if they were designed and like they actually panned out exactly as they were planned, Phantom Ganon would probably be one of the easier ones. Not the easiest, but one of the easier ones. Mm -hmm. They'd probably be right in the middle. I, th I still think Bonga Bonga would probably be the hardest one if they were all technically how they should be. Absolutely. Because they do, they do a lot of uh, bosses similar to that in Zelda games. The thing is, usually the ground's not bouncy, and so as a result, it's a lot easier to aim and fire with arrows or whatever you're using. Because that fight comes back in Wind Waker, and it's much, much easier than it is in this game. So, she's talking a big talk right now. Does Do they actually do anything? Yeah, they do. Okay. They do. They seal him away. They seal Ganon away at the end of the game. Okay, so I was about to say. I do like that most people are like, uh, with all the other ones, it's like, sorry, it's like, yeah, I want to help my friend and save my home. Durani wants to save his home. Ruto does. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, the loyal bound requirement of him. And she's just like, I'm going to get that jackass back for doing what he did. I'm going to get your ass I, man. I love it when it's just a simple, like, Kill Bill revenge tale of like, person has this thing, person gets wrong, person wants revenge. Like, that will always be a great story arc. Always. Well, it's always so refreshing because, like, there's this line in Especially Guardians of the Galaxy game. where the Guardians of the Galaxy are kind of this ragtag group of people that get together to save yeah. the galaxy from the villain. And one of the characters says to one of the other ones, like, why are you so intent on doing this mission and saving the world, saving the galaxy? He's like, because I'm one of the morons that lives in it. <laughs> it's like, yes, exactly. That is, that is exactly the point. That's typically also, like, how you get an anti-hero to team up with the actual hero. It's just, like, they have to. Like, Kaiba's that way every time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, he doesn't want to team up with Yu-Gi, but, like, mm -hmm. either his company is in jeopardy or Mokubo gets kidnapped. It's one of those two things. And so he's basically got his hand forced. Exactly. Like he doesn't want to deal with Yugi at all, but he has no choice. Which is fair. Do I, I want to go stock up on fairies first? Yes, you do want to go stock up on fairies. It's not going to immediately throw you into Ganon's Tower or anything like that, but... It's also A up right, left right. A up right, not A up left. Oh, maybe I had it wrong. Wait, you're going to forest, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I did have it wrong then. I was thinking of Serenade of Water. Which is weird, because I probably played the Serenade of Water less overall than I have Minuet, so you think I would immediately think Minuet, but yeah, no, it's left, right, left, right. So yeah, as Braru tells you, uh, he says to go back to the Temple of Time. You can work there or just, like, actually physically walk there. It doesn't matter which. Hilariously enough, it will show Link running into the Temple of Time if you do work there. <laughs> but most people work there, especially if you consider what Sheik said earlier when she teaches you the Prelude of Light. The time will come when you have to get her to work. So, like, just warp straight there. Gotta go fast. Sure, that'll count. He can't get me right here because apparently he can't make right turns. Oh. Okay, I know you're hiding right around the corner. You can bait him, you can just like walk out and immediately walk back. Oh, maybe he turned the corner, actually. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, he's right there. Slash. I figured you would hit him right there. I You glitched it. Nice, nice. Stuck. Just go up the ladder. You glitched it. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. What did you do? <laughs> I broke it. You should probably get up that ladder. I'm trying to. Okay, so turn around and look back. I want to see what happened to him. Nope, never mind. Oh, yeah, I can turn back around. Like, did he go back to his the position he was supposed to be in, or is he like stuck? No, he's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Nice. And he's stuck walking against the wall. Sweet. You really haven't hanging around with me too much. I've never broken the game like that before. Yay. 
I'm helping. I guess in the game's defense, it is 22 years, two years old, bear that in mind. Mm. Mm -hmm. This game could legally drink. The door's mask can almost legally drink. I'm trying to remember what happened. I don't know. April 27th, 2000. I can legally drink. Damn. Not by a lot, but I can legally drink. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Yeah. Props to you, best Zelda game. Fight me. Also, I think I would actually keep your last bottle open and get a green potion, because Ganon's Tower will burn a lot of magic. Okay. And you can just buy that and, like, restore it to Kariko. Yum. Red Robin. Yum. Or I guess if you want to be technical, you could also buy a blue potion if you want. I can look up where one of those is. Shut up there. I don't want to have to climb stairs. You don't need to go up there. The shop's right there. I know. I would. I didn't want to have to climb the stairs. <laughs> well, by the time you lined up your shot, it probably would have taken more time anyway. Probably. Yes, yeah, just on the right there. Hang up. There you go. Also, I like how you can buy pose here. You can just buy a ghost. Put it in the bottle. Fantastic. You can drink those, by the way. What Post. does it do? Uh, it can do random things. It can give you health, it can kill you, or anything in between. Terrifying. Yeah. I had to uh, use one of those to save myself once and miraculously it didn't kill me. You have to be truly desperate to drink a ghost, yeah. Yeah. Why are there bombs in the grass? Probably not important. So yeah, you got that menu done outside of the 100, but again, we're not going for that. Uh, you've got most of the items in the game. Now it's time to watch cutscene. Hell yeah. And there's actually a few more things we can do before Ganon's Tower. At the very least, there's one detour that we're going to make okay. that won't be too long. And it will be well worth the like minute and a half it takes. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, because we have to go back and do the training thing, right? Yes. But first, but I want to see adult. But, but first, I would actually jokingly get up and moon you, but that would require me to get up. So yeah, hard mm. pass. Thanks though. But tub of love, its hottest ghost is tasty. That's true. Only two. You couldn't have done that while we were by the forest temple, the fire temple, the water temple, the shadow temple, the spirit temple. Right? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is part of the story I'm pretty sure I already told you whenever the first part of the story came up. The sacred triangle. Is it going to automatically move Yeah, on? it's going to automatically move. Okay. Unless it's got the arrow at the bottom, like the blue arrow, then it will move automatically. 
So the first part of the story tells you basically like yeah, if you get the three gemstones that you did as a kid and then you play the Song of Time in front of the door of time, you get the Triforce. Mm -hmm. Which you already know because Link tried to do it and he pulled the Master Sword thinking he could get the Triforce, which didn't work and it sealed him away in time and that's how Ganondorf got to it instead. Mm -hmm. So this is the other part of the story which everybody already knows thanks to Smash or any other thing, which mm -hmm. is there's actual different pieces of the Triforce. So it's much like Jesus, he is one and yet many at the same time. So it's got power, wisdom, and courage in it. And depending on who grabs the Triforce will depend on what happens. If somebody's got a balanced heart, then they can just get the full Triforce. But if their heart's not in balance, then it will split into three parts, and whatever part most represents them is the piece that they keep. Since Ganondorf got it, obviously that's how he ended up with only the Triforce of power and didn't get the other two pieces. So if you've ever wondered why Gandalf, whenever he, especially whenever he like shows you the mark on his hand, why only the top piece is lit, that's why. It's because that's the part of the Triforce of Power. It's because he has issues. Because apparently, despite the fact that he had the ability to take over the world, that required neither wisdom nor courage. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, it probably did. It's just like he's so overwhelmed by power that that's the majority of what's in his heart. But he doesn't have either of the other two. Because um, it says that it has to be in balance. Yeah, and it's not at all. Like, anybody that wants to take over the world, that's absolutely power. So it's not that he doesn't have it, he just has so much yeah. of... Of power that he ended up with that. Alright. He laid his hands on the Triforce, calling the police. Yeah, all he got was the piece of power. Sucks to suck. Of the Triforce of the Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. Well, yeah, because he wanted the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Who eats a third of a slice of pizza and then puts it down? The weirdos. Also, since I'm thinking about it, I have learned to crochet triangles, so I can now crochet a Triforce. Yay! It's only taken me almost 14 years <laughs> to learn to do that. Yeah, it's not important. Mm. Yeah, except the joke is, is that one of them is in, like, high-key hiding, and then the other one was, like, unconscious for seven years. Yeah, so, like, one of them he literally could not have reached because he was in another dimension, and the other one, I, fittingly enough, had the Triforce of Wisdom, so it was smart enough to get away from him. Exactly. Also, I'd like to call into question the whole, like, giving the Triforce of Wisdom to, uh... Well, we'll get into it whenever the big... Whenever the big spoilers reveal that everyone saw coming. Oh, oh my, my god. god! It's Troll 2. Yeah. But yeah, I'd like to call into question the whole giving her the Triforce of Wisdom, because like, bear in mind, she is the reason that Gandorf got a hold of the Triforce. It was her plan that got went like went wrong. She was also an actual child. Yeah. It is I, the princess of Hyrule. Like, I get, yes, she was technically the only person in the family smart enough to realize, like, hey, Gandorf's up to no good. But, like, surely somebody else in the world would have taken one look at this man and be like, yep, that guy's evil. Right? Also, she did, in fact, keep the uh, tennis ball green eyebrows, which is I good. was about to say, yeah, uh, I thought that my memory was just exaggerating that. No. Nope. Not at all. I'm saying it to see what this shot looks like from a... Uh, because we haven't already seen it. It will always be that shield, regardless of what shield you have equipped, by the way. You Andy? can have the Kokiri shield, or the Deku shield, rather, equipped in that, and it would still be the Highland shield. I thought I should entrust the Ocarina to you. Ironically mm -hmm. enough, again, ironically enough, because she went into hiding, if she had kept the Ocarina and Gendorf had never found her, he never would have been able to get into that sacred realm. Yeah. Because even if he had gotten the three gemstones, there's nothing he could have done. Yeah. Because apparently you can't just, you know, bust down the wall or something. Apparently concrete is, in fact, too strong for explosives. So this is the part where we have to look at Zelda and recognize that she stole seven years of our lives, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Well, in this timeline. <laughs> if you're a kid, that never in happens. This yeah. Of course. This is what happens when you mess with time shenanigans in a video game. Mm -hmm. Which is why I try to just, like, not do that in storytelling. 
Yeah, just don't do that. Like, flashback, sure, fine, go for it, whatever. In media res, absolutely. Messing with, like, the actual time continuum going back and forth, that's just bad for business. Looking at you, Endgame. Or Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Like, again, and like any time that it's used, like, it will inevitably mess something up. That's just what happens. That's literally the entire plot of the TV show, The Flash. Yeah. That's it, that's the plot. So now we've got our plan B. All right. We, of course, get the honor of weakening Ganondorf, i.e. fighting him, and then once he's weakened, the uh, six sages plus Zelda. Because Zelda is apparently the seventh sage. Yes. That's never brought up anywhere in, like, storytelling or anything. They're just like, yeah, she's the seventh sage. Still not a good enough excuse to use the word penetrate. Nope. I think it's because, I think the idea is because she's the Triforce of Wisdom, like the owner of it, she's the one that has command over the rest of the sages. I think that's why, but I don't think that's ever confirmed. I could be wrong. I mean, that, that kind of tracks logically. And I feel like that's a good enough logical conclusion to go with, and until mm -hmm. it's proven otherwise, I will continue to hold it. So and now I we get this. The almighty light arrow, so that to see, and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite you. So I do need that in order to... Yes, you do need the light arrow. Alright, let me go ahead and squander all of them immediately. Okay. I mean, it's the same as the fire arrow. Like, it's just, it costs more magic than the fire arrow does. It can't be! This feels familiar to a certain Star Fox game that got produced a couple years later. I was about to say. Wrong color crystal, but other than that for both the character and the actual, like, gem crystal. But also, how did he find her when she took off her disguise? Who's the fucking snitch? Mm -hmm. I bet it was Navi. Navi. Well. The quality of this animation as time has not been kind no. to it, ironically. Which is ironic, because I would argue that, like, probably as far as in 64 games go, this is one of the ones that has held better than, like, say, Goldeneye. Because, oh, holy yeah. shit, Goldeneye has not aged well. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it has not aged well. So I think part of the reason, too, is, like, he had an idea, like, a thought, maybe, like, later on, especially when he starts, uh, she starts meeting with Link, that, like, oh, this is probably Zelda, but because he underestimates both Zelda and Link, particularly Link, he mm -hmm. kind of just lets Sheik do whatever and lets Link do whatever, thinking, like, oh, it's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. But, of course, the typical thing of, like, had the villain not underestimated the hero, he could have just killed the hero earlier and, and gotten away with yeah. it. But he was so confident that he could win that he did done goof. This is why he didn't get the Triforce of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. We've already established this. Sure. All right, so to Ganon's Tower we go. Because we actually have to pick up something that's in there on the bottom floor before we can do the uh, other thing we need to. All right. Where am I going? Ganon's Tower. Hyrule Castle. Okay. It's sort of interchangeable in the fact that they're in the same location. It just depends on if you're in the past or in the future. Or the future or the present, depending. Oh my god. This game was actually set... I don't know if I ever mentioned this. game was actually set to have a past, present, and future, not just... You know, the but it got scrapped because that would make it even more complicated than it already was. And let's be honest, considering what is having to be handled for this game for the N64, that's probably for the best. Yeah, that's a little much. Thanks, bro. It's theorized by some, and by some I mean me, of like, this version of Link right here would have been the present one, and then the past version of Link would have been, obviously, him as a kid. And then the future version of him would have been something akin to the hero shade from Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you've seen of Twilight Princess. There's a guy that gives you all the hidden skills in the game, and it's like a skeleton Stalfos. And a lot of people theorize that it's this Link. Because mm -hmm. Twilight Princess is later in the timeline, so it's like the, the spiritual successor to uh, yes. or the reincarnation of but now you got a rainbow bridge! Yay! That was literally all you needed the medallions for. I mean, uh... Inside Ganon's castle, where we avoid those two enemies and just go through the door. Later, nerds. 
All right, so that is where you have to go to progress, but it is obviously a barrier that has uh, got some uh, blockade around it, and you'll notice that there are different doors that correspond to the different temples. The only one we're interested in right now is the one for the Shadow Temple, which is the purple one, because that has the item that you need to progress. There's no enemies in, the, in this set of rooms specifically right here in this big domain area, so you can feel free to move around to, at your leisure. I love the little uh, sound effect. Yeah, it'll, it'll start to sound a higher pitch when the barriers get weakened, because the idea is you're going to be going in and destroying each of the barriers as you go through these uh, different dungeons. No, he's just going to chill there. He's not going to come after you. So you got a chest over there. Which I'm pretty sure is going to be a blue beef, but I could be wrong. There's only uh, two keys in this dungeon, the boss key and then one other key, I think. Very small for that. Might be two keys, but uh, they're both in the light temple section, so you don't have to worry about them here. And you may not be able to see it, but there is a target that you can uh, hit with your fire arrow. Or a torch, rather, you can hit with a fire arrow. I don't think you can get close enough to hit this with dense fire, so I think it actually does have to be the fire arrow. So that's why he's there. I shouldn't have come over here. I mean, you can go back to the, the start fire from that direction too if you want. It all works. A little high. That was very generous of it. Also, this is on a timer, so fair warning. So I'm just going to kill myself. Okay. Well, you're going to have to shoot the switch again. Yeah. Guess I'll die. Solid ground and a like light. -like. He's probably going to throw you off the map. Just a fair warning. Love that. Well, I hope I didn't want that. I don't know if he's still going to have your tunic or not, but you can always go back and kill him and find out. Yeah, I guess. Rude. Alright. I said he might not have your tunic anymore. I don't know. Like, normally what happens is it just if you take too long to kill him after you lose your tunic, you don't get it back. But I don't know if that still counts if you, like, have to reset a room. It's gonna kill me again. He's just gonna eat you again, though. Stop that. Don't do that. Stop that was that. why I thought that you uh, jumped so far to the side on your second jump was to get away so where he wouldn't get you like that. I did, and that was very wise of me. However... I think I had that thought the first time. Oh god. Okay. Well, you're not gonna get both of them back, I'm pretty sure. Give I think me it's the only two hits. Best is gonna give you, no, I was no. gonna say best is gonna give you the red, but no, you lost them both. Damn it. A shame, because you're gonna have to go and buy them, because you don't technically need them for this dungeon, but it helps. Damn it. The fire one will require, or recommend, quote unquote, the fire tunic, and the blue one will, of course, recommend the uh, the water one. Also, you can hit the fire sw or the uh, torch again from this location. Oh. So oh. yeah, you you rush forward for nothing. Party 
character's line, or at least in the earlier games. Practically, he only gets the three more stuff. Mario Party games. Even though it's supposed to say, so I missed, which is German for oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay. So the spot with the switch is still there, so it's still obtainable. You can just, again, shoot the target. Uh... You may have to, like, move slightly from the clock you're on, but you can still get it. And if not, you could just use the hover boots and go down to that switch. I was gonna say, I can't even see the switch. Yeah. I would say just use the hover boots and just hover down to the switch. Though. But I'm pretty sure you, you can't get it, it's just hard to see. But it can be done. Can I get back up again, though? Yes, you will be able to get back up, because the switch is gonna drop a chest, and you can hook shot the chest. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that section, yeah. What? Uh, there's invisible platforms. That was why the hover effect didn't kick in immediately. I forgot about that. I did not do a practice run of, of Ganon's Tower before we did this. I only did Spirit Temple. I mean, that's fair. The last time that we did, um, like a run through, and we're like, oh yeah, this is, uh, about how long this is going to take. I did not take any, uh... Well, you did for the dungeon. It just wasn't the boss. That was the only difference. So the dungeon time was still pretty close. <laughs> So yeah, if you pull out, you can take off the boots for the time being, since they're going to be slippery. And if you also equip the Lens of Truth, you'll see that there's a, uh, a platform here that you can walk across. Uh, or jump onto. I was going so slow! Alright. Oh, and good news, this is not the uh, hardest of the barrier sections to go through. For my money's worth, that would be the forest one. Absolutely horrifying. It's got a lot of wind puzzles, like remember where you had to like switch Stop. between boots to go from uh, like holding still to getting blown across the map while wearing the hover boots? It's a lot of that. Yeah. So if you run from there with the hover boots on, you should be able to make it to that switch. As long as you're careful about correcting when you land. That'll work. Thankfully that stops your movement completely when a cutscene like that kicks in. And then you can hook shot back to the, the treasure chest, or long shot. I'm gonna keep going back and forth on that. I feel like it's interchangeable. Yeah. It kind of falls under the uh, squares quadrilaterals thing of like not all one is the other, but all the other is one. Yeah. Like all long shots are hook shots because they're upgrades of that, but not all hook shots are long shots because they don't all have the double, uh, the double thing. Up. But now you get another strength upgrade, the golden gauntlets. You can feel even more power coursing through your arms. Grab a right. key and lift stuff up. Good job on making that less inappropriate than the uh, counterpart for Link to the Past with the sword upgrades, where the last one says, and I quote, you can feel its power throbbing in your hand. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that you got the gold gauntlets, you can finish off this section, or you can also just leave if you want. But I feel like you already did two-thirds of it, so you might as well see it through. Yeah. So the door is locked. But, oh, shit. that section over there, to your left, yes. has a rusted switch on it. And you can go back across that platform and jump to that, and uh, then use the Megaton Hammer on it. Like, if it says you have to go through that thing, you can make that jump. I'm 100% oh, sure no. you can make that jump. I could not. Now that we have the gauntlets, if you don't want to do this right now, too, we can also just leave. Like, we just came in here for the time being. Let's give it one more try. I think that might be a sign that you uh, should come back later. All right. This was fun. I'm going to go.
Also, as a slight note, there is a hidden room in here. Uh, if you go around the bottom floor with the Lens of Truth on, you should find it. Yeah, there it is. It's a hidden room in Ganon's Tower. Got a bunch of the salesmen in here that will give you, I think, like, bombs, arrows, potions, like, your, your restocks, basically, and then also the room for the fairies. Nice. I figured you just wanted to run in here, eat a few fairies, and leave. Probably. And probably take damage as a result. I mean, no, no, what am I gonna do? Okay, guys, come on, work with me here. Okay, I mean, to be fair, most people don't want to be eaten unless you're just really into that kind of thing. That's right. Okay. Also, good news, the water one is not water, it's ice, which sounds like it would be worse, but I think it's actually worse if it was water. Yeah, probably. Well, especially since I lost my water. Yeah. Water and water and water, water, water. So I need to get the fire tunic back. Again, you don't need it, but like it would put you on a, a self-restricted timer by not having it. Yeah. But first, we're actually going to do something else, is if you go down the bridge and go to your left, This pathway. Now. And you couldn't break these silver boulders earlier, but now that you have the silver gauntlets, you can lift those. Or you can just walk past them. And of course, you wouldn't be able to do anything with this giant pillar until you had the gold gauntlets. In which case, you can lift a shitload of weight. What the fuck? I don't feel like this is right. That is not right. If you do that in front of anybody, they would never fuck with you ever again. I'm a little bit scared. Like, yeah. <laughs> and the final great fairy stuff. <laughs> with the upgrade that is bar none the best, which is of course why they saved it for the very end of the game, because they knew it was broken as hell. Of course. If you thought Nero's love was broken, oh, you have seen nothing yet. This is a great one to get early on in randomizers. Because you're pretty much guaranteed to get it before you would get in the main game. Mm -hmm. Defense. Defense. It wins championships. You've gotten double defense. It basically means you now take half damage from everything in the game, which essentially gives you 40 hearts. Oh my god. So yes, it is absolutely broken, and that's why they saved it for the end of the game. Because if you had gotten that like halfway through, it would make every boss fight a joke. It would make every fight. Oh my god, that is insane. Hey. I cannot believe. The funny part is, in Majora's Mask, you know when you get that upgrade? After the second temple. Oh my god. Bear in mind, there's only four in the game, but that's still leagues earlier than this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, to get another tunic. Uh, to get another tunic for the fire temple, um... I was gonna say the fastest way would be to warp there, but it probably isn't, actually. Because it's gonna put... Well, no, you can get back to Death Mountain Crater. Yeah, I'd say the Bolero Fire. Okay, so down, A, down, A, right, down, right, down. Yep. I kind of want to see if a bunch of people have done, like, remixes. Oh, they have. <laughs> Check YouTube, they have. Okay. One guy played all the going? games on... Uh, you're going back to Goron City, which is to your left. To the left. One guy has remixed all the games, songs, on a fucking PVC pipe instrument he made. Oh my god. And it's kind of awesome, actually. That was, like, one of the very first uh, YouTube videos I ever watched. Hey. 
back in Goron City. Doronia is no longer here, again, because he's the fire sage. He's technically in spirit with you. He's working on stuff. It's important. But all the other Gorons have returned. Perfect. Not that it matters, because the shopkeeper is here even before you went to the fire temple. But for the record, outside of Doronia, everything's back to normal. So it's this one on the right right here. What's up, dude? Also, I look forward to you uh, buying both of these tunics, and then when we do this uh, next episode, that you uh, lose them again. Yeah. Though, to be fair, I'll probably have you do the fire one first, if I remember, so that you don't have to worry about that if it doesn't happen. Okay. Do you want to go get the water one as well? Because the water one's exactly 300, and that's how much you have right now. Sure. So with the water one, uh, Serenade water is not going to get you very quickly, unfortunately. So probably the fastest way to get there would be... Either making the walk back from here or using the Prelude of Light and going to Hyrule Field and going to the Zora's River through that way. Either one. They're not fully equidistant, but those are going to be the two fastest ways to get there. Nothing else is going to warp you super close. I guess maybe the Nocturne of Shadow? Nocturne of Shadow might be slightly faster, but we're talking like maybe 30 seconds. Not that big a deal. Whatchamacallits are hanging out in there. You don't want a pony to get eaten by one of those. I've already watched enough horses die on The Walking Dead. I don't need any more. Not to mention, uh, whatever the horse's name in Shadow of the Colossus is that also gets killed. There's a lot of horses that die in movies. Yeah, they seem to have bad luck with that kind of thing. Might as well just stick a red shirt on them while we're at it. Yeah. So to be fair though, if they break a leg, they're Yeah, they're they're done. They're, they're done. So Okay. Where am I going again? Uh you're going to Zora's River. Dude had a real complex about being weak and then got sentenced to death for it as a result. Yeah. I don't actually remember if opponent is like I know at least in most games opponents female. I don't know if there's any games where opponent is male. But I think most people just accept it like, across the board that opponent is typically female. Actually, you know what? No, I know she's a female in this game because when you talk to Malin, whenever she introduces you to Pona, she says, isn't she cute? So yeah, Pona is female in this game. Why am I having issues swimming? What is happening? Oh, it's because you didn't make the jump. Yeah, that again. Delicious. And get the camera strobe. Spectacular. He also just hover big across too. It's mean, really that big of an issue. There you go. 
Stop moving the scales up. I'm already on like button four or five, and that's six button input. Mm -hmm. I know that's gonna get me if I ever race Brandon on this game. I'm just gonna be like inputting him so fast that I'm making mistakes because it hasn't registered the previous ones. Oh, we might actually have a problem here. I just remember we're all here. And <laughs> what I want to know is where is the caveman? Uh, I wish the problem was that we were out here. The actual problem is the shop's right there. The problem is that he's in there. <laughs> I, you, know what, you know what the real problem is? Is he's frozen in there because you never unlocked this. Yeah, he's the sheriff. <laughs> we're in there and I just remembered. <laughs> we're out here. <laughs> but what I want to know is, where's the caveman? God, that fit too well. Oh no, <laughs> what do we Okay, so let's just not worry about it then. Okay. The water one's not... Because like I said, it's an ice stair... It's like a, it's an ice area, not a um, not a water one. There's yeah. a water section in Gerudo Training Grounds, but like you've got all the hearts, so as long as you come up for air every two and a half minutes, which I feel like would give you more than enough time to do that, fine. For the record, if you get put in this situation and you would like to fix that though, you can get blue fire in the water section of Ganon's Tower, and it's a lot faster than going through the ice cavern again. That's... Ooh, that's right. Because no one wants to go through the ice cavern twice. Oh. Uh, what time is it? Probably don't have enough time. Time to get a watch. It is 8.40. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough time for training ground. Unless that will also give you a little bit of time next week to get re or, uh, reintegrated with the controls by doing training grounds before going into Ganon's Tower. We should make a note, though, to do the fire room first. Once we do start doing the tower and everything. That's true. What I want to know is who's leaving all these bombs in the grass? That seems wildly irresponsible <laughs> at best. Yeah. Actively malicious at worst. <sighs> Alright. Is there a particular place we want to leave? No, remember, it's going to work you back to the temple time whenever uh, the game's turned off. So All right. I have saved. And saved. Yep. As is tradition with a game that cannot be trusted. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I think that's the quickest I've been through a temple, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, easily. I think the only other one that might have been like semi close time wise would have been uh, fire, but fire is just a long temple. Yeah. And for now, find us a raid target, Michelle. Once this bright screen goes away, load the page. Load the page. God, I need to update this computer. And by update, I mean just start from scratch, really. It's on my list eventually. Not really. 
By on my list, I mostly mean like whenever I am not saving for other things. We'll get around to it when the time is right. Yep. I'll also get around to uh, editing the videos for Terraria Hardcore that we did almost three years ago. I've got three of them edited. The problem is I have not edited any of them in at least two years. Yeah. If I actually had a consistent schedule off of work, I could be doing that, but nope. How dare. What is that? Alright, so Sunday will be our finale for this. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Sunday. We'll see you guys Sunday. I will try to do something in the middle of the week, but if it's anybody's guess. I have Wednesday off in theory. And there's an empty <laughs> shift on Saturday, which means I'm probably getting that shift. Yeah. Yay. Some people are working three days this week and they're on full time shifts. Oh my god. Equality.